One more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserved to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk in a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah that hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. You're Dowd. Dowd. Sean. I want to know about a ship. The Delilah. Yeah, I... You're free to go. Make your way out of this place. Here's the... I'm here for information. About the Delilah. Who hired you? Not with me. I'm not here for you. I'm here to learn about a ship called the Delilah. Exactly what you want. Please do. That's what I thought. What? How? The whale oil and boom. What about the people inside? Don't try and con me. I'll consider it. You know, I could put you in Rothwild's interrogation chair myself. Why should I bargain with you? It's done. Time is short. Now, about the Delilah. My reasons are my own. The black market doesn't concern me. Let me guess. It didn't end well. I think you know where you are. I thought it would be. Tell me about Delilah. I need to know the significance of Delilah. You should have asked. Who is his partner? And why did he name it Delilah? Barrister Neem. Tell me about Delilah. How? Why? You are no innocent. None of you are. I want to know about a ship named Delilah. What's behind the name? Choke on you. Who is Delilah? Ha! Cat! We'll feed you through your own factory. See if we can get oil out of your blubber. Why did you name it Delilah? What are you- Who was the previous owner? Not yet. Let's go. As a young girl, Delilah was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. Years later, a painter in Sokolov Circle. Barrister Arnold Timps paid her to paint portraits. Him, I knew. A nobleman, born rich. And now he was making a second fortune seizing the assets of played victims for the Lord Regent. But Barrister Timps was also fighting a private war with his own niece. Something to do with the family fortune. Lurk was probably right. We needed to speak with the niece first. Her feud with the old Barrister was something we could use. I got a message to the Barrister's niece, and she claimed to know things about Delilah that no one else did. 
but the knowledge would have a price. I wasn't surprised. I went to meet her. Scout up ahead. Try to find out where Timsh is. I know. Half the city wants him dead. We'll earn some gold on this one. I'll meet you up ahead. What do you want? Rev Who are you? That's strange. <clears throat> Timsh doesn't name himself the beneficiary in the will. He's giving the inheritance to Delilah. The Barrister's enemies caught up to him. He's in custody as a plague victim. Here's the will as agreed. Battle, do nice. Your uncle is dead. This is his will as agreed. Uncle's dead. Not yet. Let's go home. Jessamine Colbin's hands were all that was holding this city together. With her dead, this city was a fast, disintegrating web of guardsmen, overseers, nobles, weepers. Maybe this was the world the outsider was trying to show me all along. For years, I had held together a shadowy band of ex-mercenaries, street kids, and refugees through discipline and a bit of black magic. On the fringes of a city that ate up innocence and weakness. Maybe today was the end of that small world. I thought of Jessamine Colvin's hands shuddering as she lost her grip on life. Whatever doom was coming, I deserved it. My people didn't. I want to know how the bastards found us in the first place. This map shows a coordinated sweep of the flooded district. But the overseers here didn't stick to the plan. Someone must have tipped them off. Capture as many as you can. Their plans are ruined. Cut them down. Gabby. Where's Lurk? Give me a report. We'll take the- How did the cursed overseers find us? You did this. But I can't go through with it. I forgive you. Get out of here. Leave the city. Leave my sight, Billy. I give you your life. He knew. The black-eyed bastard knew that when my blade stilled the Empress's heart and delivered her daughter to the Lord Regent's men, everything would fall to pieces. He watched me do it anyway. And now the world's gone mad. Plague grinds the city down. Corruption rots. A mad killer roams the streets by night, seeking revenge. The Overseers have stormed my hideout in the flooded district. And I'm in a strange duel with a mad witch named Delilah for the fate of the Empire. I'd say I was being punished, but I know that the world doesn't punish wicked people. We make our choices and take what comes. And the rest is void. I can't say I wasn't warned. The men are recovering well from the attack, but they don't understand the danger they're in. My mother warned me never to make an enemy of a witch. It's been months since I killed the Empress, but it feels like only seconds ago. I heard her yelling for her daughter, Emily. Corvo's face going slack with shock. And somewhere in my head, the outsiders laugh. Corvo, here to settle our debt. You understand, I won't make this easy for you. Come to collect on our debt. Did you ever think you deserved to lose your Empress? That a better man took her life, while you gaped like a fool? Come on, Corvo. Prove me wrong. Boom! What? I... What is it? It's a new game now. They know where to find us. 
We just have to make them afraid to. Pictures. Them? No. But the men who give the orders are a different breed. Living. The Abbey never changes. I wonder. Maybe they saw it and chose not to say anything. More. Delilah didn't finish us off while we were down. I never make that mistake. Pierre. He's got the Lord Regent's army to chew through first. He won't make it past the Weepers and the River Crusts. The city's changed since he was the Royal Protector. Corvo. Enough about Corvo. You should be preparing for Brigmore. As you let me worry about that when the time comes. If it comes. Head on. We have bigger targets to consider right now. Corvo didn't turn one of our own against us. He didn't send overseers into our backyard. Delilah did. Maybe you should do something more useful than standing by this window pissing your pants about Corvo. What? Interesting times, gentlemen. Overseers in the flooded district. Witches abroad in the city. Traitors in the ranks. I'd be nervous too. Then I'd remember who killed the Empress in Dunwall Tower. And came out untouched. Scared, are you? Witches upriver. Traitors in the ranks. I'd be frightened too. Fire. Let's hope it won't come to that. Anytime you think I'm a little soft, you're welcome to come by my office. Bring a blade. That house has always had a dark history. It's time to write a new chapter. The last one. Any butcher eager to die is welcome in the flooded district. Ward, I promise to go quietly. We'll be back. And then you can burn those overseer drapes while you're at it. Somebody will. And they can burn those overseer drapes while they're at it. A tower. Tell it to the Empress. Yes. Coldridge, we can use this. We'll get her out. And Stride will have to pay back the favor. We'll have our transport. Ready to leave, sirs. Excellent. Lizzie has enemies inside Coldridge. If we play this right, she'll be begging to do business with us. I have other talents. Stride. The barrister. He'll bring some class to the neighborhood. Stride. Good. I'll let him know I'll be visiting his girlfriend soon. Oh. They know how to make a man feel welcome. I could use a laugh. Delilah doesn't leave Brigmore Manor anymore. She doesn't have to. Which means I have to come to her. The manor's upriver, far out past the quarantine line. I'll need a ship. I've lived in Dunwall's underworld a long time. I know the players, the gang leaders, madams, corrupt officials. But what I need is a smuggler who knows the river, someone I can trust. It's a reflection of Dunwall, or perhaps myself. That after all these years, the best choice I have is Lizzie Stride. And Lizzie Stride is in jail. This should get me in the front door at least. Looks like I'll need to check in with those guards by the gate. There was a problem with the water lock. I'll be gone before you know it. Why the music? I'll be back with Lizzie Stride. Stay hidden. This mask won't fool an arc pylon. Right. You're free to go. This is the Abbey's problem now. What happened here? This disguise won't help me if I'm caught in a restricted wing. This controls all the cell doors. This better be worth it. Lizzie Stride. She's in rough shape. Wake up, Lizzie. Down. I've come to break you out. You can owe me the favor. Favor? Doesn't matter. You'll be dead in another day here. It's just a boat trip. Up river. Past the blockades. It's a situation I'm familiar with. Can you walk? Give me It'll be my pleasure. Come on. I'll have to carry her out. 
They don't hesitate to kill their own. I'm looking for Elizabeth Stride, a prisoner. A gang leader out of Draper's ward. She's beaten, but not dead. See that her wounds get attention. Not yet. Keep to your post. Let's go. Dunwall is changing fast. Six months ago, Draper's ward was where Dunwall's rich and well-born strolled and shopped and tried to be seen. The plague burned through it in days. Today, it's a battleground where two street gangs fight over the spoils. The Hatters and Lizzie's gang, the Dead Eels. Lizzie Stride was the boss until Edgar Wakefield betrayed her and took her place. And her riverboat. It's the kind of thing that happens every day in Dunwall. I don't judge him. I've done worse myself. But I need that boat. Edgar Wakefield and I have business. Customer. What are you selling? The best of I'm not a bill collector. I don't want the money. You can't afford me. Get someone else. Kind of thing. Show me what you're selling. Please. I'll do it. Huh. Love him. Got it. Now let me see what you've got. Skinflint is still alive. For now. I know you'll... Skinflint is dead. With her? Delilah. Any roses? What can you tell me about Delilah? I did so. And Delilah? She vis- What happened? There's the boat. Wakefield's probably keeping himself below decks. Whatever I do to him, it will be a mercy compared to what Lizzie has in mind. Lizzie's boat is smaller than I remember. Time to signal Lizzie. The ship seems fine to me. What is it? Can we make a new one? They don't. The geezer still leads the header gang, right? I'll pay him a visit. Always is. What's this one? Just be ready to move when I get back. You can decide what to do with him. Might suffer more. Just get me up river. Quiet in the city. Almost like it used to be. The city even smells rotten. A password system. The Hatters are getting organized. Forget about it. Done. Whalebone. Come in. Now we know why they took the engine coil. How do I get into the engine room? And where would I find that? Thanks for the help. My name's Dowd. I'm looking for Lizzie Stride's missing engine coil. I'm giving you a chance to make a deal. This guy never made it back. Wonder if he's still down there. Trimble's got good handwriting, which makes me distrust him. All I have to do is pull that oil tape. Yes. But everyone will die. Not just you. It's done. I've already taken the antitoxin. Uh, good. It's out. What's the combination? <laughs> I need that combination. <laughs> Farewell, Mr. Hatter. That was no way to live. I doubt you'll be needing this again. Whatever. Tell me what Delilah's doing at Brigmore. That's enough. If they remember any of us, that should get the water flowing. Now to go get that engine coil. It's done. But I don't think you'll see your men again. All this... over a chunk of metal and wiring. If this gets me closer to Delilah's throat... so be it. No fighting. Wonder how long that'll last. Captain? Add it to Delilah's debt. Let's go. The Brigmars were an ancient family. Bankrupted a generation ago. Since then, the manor has housed two street gangs, a smuggling ring, innumerable rats, and the Brickmore witches. I'd always left them alone, but now a painter named Delilah had taken up witchcraft and formed a coven. She was trying something. A ritual. But what kind? The outsider knows. 
I cannot abide a mystery. It means trouble. Anything else, good enough. I'll take it from here. Understood. What have you got? Life. And Delilah will rule as Empress. Wait. What about a way in? Use the crypt. And I thought the flooded district was run down. What happened to you? I did Where's Delilah? <laughs> so Delilah wants to use Emily to become Empress. Emily Colvin. The Void. Time to see what you've really got, Delilah. You. I suspect Corvo's busy. Are you doing... Your genius couldn't keep me from reaching you. It won't save you now. Oh. Hmm. Painted in the same style as Emily's portrait. Delilah's work. She's been busy. Would any painting work for Delilah's ritual? I wonder. This painting might be useful. Are all artists narcissists? The last part of Delilah's ritual. Just gibberish. Unless I finish the other ritual steps first. Paint flows. Blood flows. Life goes. Out with the old. In with the new. You've lived in these bones long enough. Uh no one will ever know exactly what it took to save Emily Caldwin from a living death as Delilah's puppet. No one except the outsider, who watches everything and thinks his own dark thoughts and speaks to few in any generation. I've learned that our choices always matter. To someone. Somewhere. And sooner or later, in ways we can't always fathom, the consequences come back to us. I came from Circonos to Dunwall as a boy. Made my living as a killer. One of the few who've heard the outsider's voice. I murdered an empress, but saved her daughter, who will one day rule the Empire. Those were my choices. I'm ready for what comes. I have one more surprise for you. I ask for my life. When I killed your empress and took her daughter, something broke inside me. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing. So my life is in your hands. Make your choice. I know a great deal, bodyguard. I recognize those marks on your hand. A gift from your friend. The one who talks to you in the dark. Talks to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you. Who you are. And who you fight for. You're a mystery. And I can't allow that. What is it? That he knows your work better than you do. Deal with the sentries as you see fit. As for Corvo, I suspect that in time he will come to me here. He'll have to. Keep the rest of the men in place. I didn't expect this, but all we can do is remain vigilant. Ultimately, he will come to me. Is this how you protected the Empress? I know your footsteps, Corvo. Nice try, Corvo. But inside my mind is the last place you want to be. And now we fight the duel that no two others could fight against the ticking of the clock. This is between Corvo and me. Leave us. I have to do this alone. Stand down. This is my fight. Another slice out of time, Corvo. Why are you fighting? For the men who poisoned you and left you to die? For your dead Empress? Go on. Strike as if you mean it. You know I killed her. 
Fool! We're of the same breed, you and I. We kill for others. You think I'm your enemy? I've never lied to you. Hit harder! You're not fighting Lady Boyle now. You've got to strike faster if you want my blood. This is who protected the Empress. I've waited for this. Let's see if the Outsider will save your life, or mine. Afraid to face me? I'm disappointed. It's not your place to be here. Go! Get away from here. This is none of your concern. Test yourselves against Corp. I have one more surprise for you. I ask for my life. When I killed your Empress and took her daughter, something broke inside me. Now I see the design on the back of your hand, the mark of the Outsider himself, and I remember all I've done. The years of waiting for the right moment to step forward from an alley and drive a knife between the ribs of some noble. All the money exchanging hands from one rich bastard or another. Killing for one of them one year, then being paid to kill him in return the next. But what have I accomplished? More than you have, or much less. I remember bending at the shrines, listening as the outsider whispered that I was going to change things, that I was somehow important. It felt good. It made me believe I was powerful. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing. The men you worked for asked you to kill for them, but you found some other way. You took a path I could have followed, but did not. So my life is in your hands. Make your choice. And you choose mercy. Extraordinary. So you've lost it all. Ruined at last, Lord Regent, Royal Spymaster, Hiram Burroughs, you small, worried man. You'll never know how many times I've thought about trying to get close to you again, just to put a piece of sharp metal in your eye. But now there's no need. You've been taken down by the same apparatus that gave you life to begin with. Laws and courtrooms and the mighty swell of public outrage. Good riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had, and so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? None like the last. None like her. I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an Empress. So he's dead. Farewell, Lord Regent. Royal Spymaster. Hiram Burroughs. You small, worried man. You'll never know how many times I've thought about trying to get close to you again. Just to put a piece of sharp metal in your eye. But someone beat me to it. Someone very dangerous, it seems. Good riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had, and so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? None like the last. None like her. I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress. So you've lost it all. Ruined at last. Lord Regent. Royal Spymaster. Hiram Burroughs. You small, worried man. You'll never know how many times I've thought about trying to get close to you again. Just to put a piece of sharp metal in your eye. But now there's no need. You've been taken down by the same apparatus that gave you life to begin with. Laws and courtrooms and the mighty swell of public outrage. Good riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had, and so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? None like the last. None like her. I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress. So he's dead. 
Farewell, Lord Regent. Royal Spymaster. Hiram Burroughs. You small, worried man. You'll never know how many times I've thought about trying to get close to you again. Just to put a piece of sharp metal in your eye. But someone beat me to it. Someone very dangerous, it seems. Good riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had, and so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? None like the last. None like her. I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress. <laughs>